Hey, welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Today, we had someone write in with an idea. A nine-year-old named Tay Marley would love it if we could write a story about a Mosasaurus that has a collar on it that you can control and make it an underwater story. Unfortunately, I have no idea what a Mosasaurus is, so I brought my son along to explain it. Um, Oliver, can you tell me what a Mosasaurus is? It's an underwater dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic period, I think. Oh, what does it look like? It looks like a giant long lizard that looks that lives underwater with flippers. Okay, well that explains it enough for me. Thanks, buddy. Well, this will be episode 83, The City of the Mosasaurs. Hopefully, uh, Mosasaurs is the correct plural form. I'm not really sure. You should probably look it up at home. Just close your eyes, get as comfy as you can in your bed, and imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. Imagine yourself slowly opening your eyes. They start out a bit blurry, but as everything becomes clear, you realize that you're in your bedroom. You get up out of bed, stretch your legs and your arms, your back and your neck, and you leave your bedroom. You head to the living room and you spend a little time hanging out with your family who you haven't seen in, well, in a really long time anyways. But after a while, you start to feel an urge for adventure once again. Uh, spaceship, I can't just sit around my house doing nothing. I have to go on an adventure. Understood. I feel the same way, says Spaceship. Well, where do you want to go? You ask the ship. I don't know. We should probably check on some of our other hideouts, suggests Spaceship. That's a good idea, you say. Why don't we check the dinosaur planet first? Good idea, says the spaceship. You and spaceship head to the shed. You open up the shed door, and inside the portal turns on. It starts glowing a bright blue color. Is it set for the dinosaur planet, you ask? Yes, says spaceship. You and spaceship jump through the portal and soon find yourself inside a wormhole. The wormhole looks like a huge tunnel and you float perfectly in the center of it. All of the sides are multiple different colors and you just watch them as you quickly fly by. After a short period of time, you pop out the other side and find yourself on the dinosaur planet at the dinosaur base. You check around the base very quickly, and everything looks like it's in the right place and nothing's been messing with it. Where would you like to go? asks the spaceship. Should we visit the cave people or the dragons? No, you say. I'm feeling more like finding something new. I don't even think we've explored this whole planet yet. Why don't we fly around and find part of it that we've never been to before? That is a good idea, says the spaceship. The spaceship grows to its normal size and the back hatch opens. You climb inside the ship and go straight to the command center. You sit down on the command chair and you put your hands on the steering wheel. You push forward on the throttle and take off into the air. You fly below the clouds, close enough to the planet that you can see everything below you. You pass over green grass, trees, lakes and rivers, but you just keep flying and flying and flying until you get to parts of the world that you've never seen before. After a while, the landscape below you becomes very, very rocky, and then it turns to water. 
The ocean of the dinosaur planet, you say. We've never explored this at all. I wonder what kind of creatures live in it. You fly over top of the ocean and you see, well, you see lots of waves and more waves and even more waves. Every now and then you catch a glimpse of a pterosaur or pterodactyl of some kind, but mostly just waves. And then in the distance you notice something very strange. It looks like the ocean's spinning around in a circle, creating some sort of whirlpool. You steer the ship over towards the whirlpool, and you circle above it, looking out through the window at the whirlpool below. I want to get a closer look at this, you say. Spaceship, take over flying. Understood, says the ship. You let go of the steering wheel and walk to the back of the ship. You press the button on your watch that causes your spacesuit to fold out around you like protective armor. You imagine yourself flying above the ground and you easily float up above it. You press the button to open the back hatch and you fly right out the door. You head down towards the whirlpool and start flying around in circles. You get closer and closer and closer. And it looks really strange, like everything around is getting sucked down into a huge hole there. You fly down in the center of the whirlpool until you're actually below the level of the water. You carefully lower yourself in, trying to see where the whirlpool goes. And just when you're not paying attention, the whirlpool suddenly shifts, slams together around you, and you feel a strange sensation as you become sucked down under the ocean. Luckily, you're wearing your spacesuit, so there's nothing really to worry about. That thing's designed to survive the harshest of conditions. You get sucked down further and further and further, like you're sliding down a gigantic water slide. And eventually, you shoot out the bottom of the vortex created by the whirlpool, and you look around at the dark ocean below you. You press a button on your helmet, and it lights up everything around you. A uh, spaceship, you say? Yes, says spaceship. Can you come get me? I seem to have been sucked under the water. Attempting to locate you now, says the ship. There is some sort of interference. I will have to search manually, says the ship. Okay, well... Hopefully you find me soon. As far as I can tell, I just went really, really far down. I will start by diving far down, says the ship. You look around with the light on your helmet. You see sea walls and schools of fish swimming everywhere around you. Fish of all different sizes and colors. And then you notice something in the distance. It looks like a bigger fish that's swimming towards you. And then it starts to look even bigger, kind of like a giant alligator with a pointier nose and fins instead of legs. Oh my goodness, you realize. It's a Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus sees you and begins swimming around you in circles. It looks like it's 60 feet long or maybe even more. It's absolutely gigantic. You spin around as quickly as you can following the Mosasaurus as it circles you. The Mosasaurus looks at you and starts snapping its jaw. 
You get a bad feeling about this. Spaceship? Um, do I have any of those control collars loaded in my spacesuit? You ask. Yes, says the spaceship. I took the liberty of installing a control collar cannon in your left arm, says the ship. You look at your left arm and think about the control collar cannon popping up, and out of your arm folds a cannon. The Mosasaurus stops swimming around you and turns to face you directly. It looks like it's getting ready to pounce through the water and eat you or something. You get ready, and just as you see the Mosasaurus swim towards you, you use the thrusters and the bottom of your feet to shoot upwards. You aim the control collar cannon down at the Mosasaurus, and you fire. You watch as the control collar flies out of the cannon directly towards the Mosasaurus. It quickly locks around the Mosasaurus's neck. The Mosasaurus moves back and forth for a second. And then, suddenly, it becomes calm. It looks up at you, and it makes some sort of strange, whale-like noise under the ground. It swims up towards you with its mouth closed and stops right beside you. You reach out your hand and pet it on the nose. Then you swim up behind it, grab onto its back, and say, hmm, show me around, why don't you? The Mosasaurus immediately starts swimming as fast as it can. You hold on to its back, and you're actually amazed at how quickly the thing can go. It swims past schools of fish, past underground caves, and over an underground cliffside that leads even further down. It begins to dive down the side of the cliff. I wonder where it's taking me, you think. In the distance, you see giant domes of some kind. What are those? As you get closer, the domes become bigger and bigger and bigger until you realize they're about the size of a gigantic city. In fact, it looks like they are a city of some kind. Through the domes you can see huge buildings, like skyscrapers sticking up out of the ground. You even see different things floating around or flying around or something. The Mosasaurus brings you down right beside the domes. You're obviously next to some sort of underground civilization. I didn't know this existed on the dinosaur planet. What is it? says Spaceship. Oh, hey Spaceship, have you located me yet? No, still attempting to locate you. What do you see? You describe the huge underground city to Spaceship and Spaceship seems very impressed. My sensors don't work well through that much ocean, says Spaceship. I must have never detected this. I suggest you go explore. I will attempt to locate the city to pick you up, says Spaceship. The Mosasaurus takes you around the city and brings you to what looks like a huge gateway or entrance. And as you approach, an alarm goes off. Some sort of red and blue light begins flashing above the door, and you can hear some sort of siren sound. You look around, wondering what's going on. 
and then the doors open wide. Out of the doors swims a giant plesiosaurus. Correction, a team of plesiosauruses or plesiosaurs or whatever the plural is. They basically look like giant underground long neck creatures with sharp teeth and fins instead of legs. On top of them, you see something else. It looks almost human-like, but dinosaur-like as well. A spaceship? What are those? Connecting to your camera, says spaceship. Scanning. Out of your helmet shines a bright yellow light that scans the plesiosaurs and whatever it is riding on their backs. These appear to be some type of evolved form of a dinosaur. I believe they are evolved forms of plesiosaurs and mosasaurs. You mean there's evolved dinosaurs living in a secret underground city on the dinosaur planet, you say? That would appear to be the case, says Spaceship. The dinosaurs swim closer to you, and when they get in range you notice that each one is holding some sort of spear or trident or something like that. I come in peace, you say. But they don't answer. Um, Spaceship, are you able to translate for these things yet? Working on it, says Spaceship. Well, hurry up. They're carrying very pointy weapons. Activate Sleep Ray, you say. The left arm of your spacesuit immediately transforms into what looks like a giant Sleep Ray. As the Mosasaurs and the Plesiosaurs get closer, they surround you. They all hold up their spears, and you can hear some sort of strange siren noises or echolocation or something vibrating through the water. You try to tell them you come in peace once more, but they just look at each other a little bit confused. Then one of them decides to attack he lifts up his giant trident and throws it towards you. You duck down on your mosasaur and immediately try to get out of the area, swimming away from them as quickly as you can. But as quickly as your mosasaur swims, the others are able to go just as fast. They begin throwing their tridents and spears towards you. You dodge most of them but you decide it's time that you have to fight back. You start aiming at them with your sleep ray. You lock on to one and fire. Immediately upon hitting the enemy, they fall gently asleep and begin sinking back down to the bottom of the ocean. You fire a few more times, taking out a few more of them, and then you see a cave in front of you. You dart through the cave with your giant mosasaur, and they try to follow you. You follow the cave up and down, left and right, until you pop out the other side. I have finished translating, says Spaceship. Okay, well, we're gonna give this a shot then. You suddenly pull the mosasaur to a stop and turn around to face them. You stick your hands up in the air and you say, I come in peace. I'm not here to hurt you at all. I love dinosaurs. Uh, what do you mean? You can speak our language? You hear one of them saying through the translator. Uh, not really. I have something that can translate these sorts of things, but I guess... Uh, yeah, I can speak your language, you say. 
What did you do to our friends, then? Asks one of the dinosaurs. Oh, I just put them to sleep. They'll be fine. Here, I'll show you. Hmm, we'll give you a chance, but if they're actually hurt, we're not going to believe you're friends of ours. You follow the dinosaurs back to where their friends have fallen off of their dinosaurs and sunk down to the bottom of the ocean. You point your ray at each of them and fire a little blast to wake them up. Each one yawns and gets up and stretches. The first one you wake up looks like a sort of evolved plesiosaur. Almost a human-like creature, but with scales and a very long neck. The second one looks, well, almost like an alligator, really. Or a human-alligator hybrid. But you can tell that it must be a mosasaur. I'm really sorry about this. I didn't mean to disturb you guys. I just sort of found myself sucked down here from a whirlpool. And then... This Mosasaur brought me down to the city, and then you came out and started attacking me. I didn't mean to start any of this. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I trust you. What's that device you have on that Mosasaur over there? Oh, that? That's just a control collar. A control collar? You mean you turned one of our kind into a mindless automaton? Take that off right away. Uh, okay, you say. You go over to the Mosasaurus collar. You press a button on the side of it, and the collar pops off and drops to the ground. The Mosasaur moves left and right and then swims back behind the others. Well, I guess the only thing to do, says the leader of the dinosaurs, is put this thing under arrest. Get him, everyone. Just as he says that, the spaceship materializes in front of you and shines bright lights at all of the dinosaurs. The back hatch opens and you swim directly through it, into an airlock. The airlock drains of all the water, and another set of doors opens, allowing you into the main part of the spaceship. I think it's best to just get out of here, spaceship, you say. The ship turns away from the dinosaurs, and rises up out of the ocean and into the air. You press a button on your watch, and the spacesuit folds away from you and back into the watch. Out of the ceiling of the spaceship appear two things that look kind of like blow dryers. They both turn on, blasting all of the water from the floor and drying everything up. They also feel nice and warm and toasty. Head back to the base, you say to spaceship. The spaceship sets a course and flies above the land until you can see the base in the distance. It comes in for a landing where it normally does inside the dinosaur base. The back hatch opens and you get out. The spaceship shrinks down and flies beside you. You decide you may as well stay the night on the dinosaur planet so you head to your sleeping cabin. The door opens as soon as you're standing in front of it, and you go inside. Once you're inside, you feel very tired, so you head straight for your bed once again. You pull back the covers in your bed. You climb inside and pull the covers over top of you. You get as comfy as you can be, and you say, spaceship, turn off the lights. The lights turn off, and you allow yourself to sink down into your mattress, 
With each breath, you let your muscles melt away more and more, and you sink down deeper and deeper into your mattress. You close your eyes, and you allow yourself to drift off to sleep. Good night, everyone.